Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Empress Aries 888. My name is Tanya. How are you today? I hope it's a wonderful day, morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time you tuned in. These are timeless readings. So whenever you press that play button, I believe that spirit was motivating you and I'm so honored and happy to be able to be your reader today. So like on the way in, it gives me an energetic donation to the channel and it helps me tune into you. So let's get this party started. Let's do it. Spirit, come through. Spirit, guides, and angels of your whitest light, please give me a clear message for the collective one that brings healing and hope and understanding of their situation. Please protect me as I channel these messages. Please protect my beautiful collective. Amen. Spirit. All right. So this is not a love reading. This is a collective reading. Collective reading, collective meaning any energy, any sign. And energy does not have a designated gender, but if I say he or she, please excuse and forgives. It certainly isn't meant to insult anybody. And with that said, flip the rules as you see fit. I might be saying you and meaning a person or saying a person and meaning you. All right. So let's do this. Let's get this party started now. The song that I'm channeling, it is not a love reading. I just said that, right? So we're going to reiterate that. It's not a love reading, baby. It's not. The song is Making Love Out of Nothing at All. It was on the radio by Air Supply. Now, I have looked up the lyrics so that I could read it to you. The first part, the, one, the lyrics that I want to feature on this is, I know all the rules and then I know how to break them and I always know the name of the game but I don't know how to leave you and I'll never let you fall. And I don't know how you do it, making love out of nothing at all. Out of nothing at all, making love out of nothing at all. I love those songs. All right, but it's not a good song apparently. And the second part is, I can make you every promise that has ever been made and I can make all your demons be gone. But I'm never going to make it without you. Do you really want to see me crawl? And I'm never going to make it like you do. Making love out of nothing at all. Out of nothing at all. So, yikes. <laughs> yikes. There's so many ways that you could take this. But somebody is either in a karmic relationship where their karmic is making love to other people with no emotions attached or it's your person that we're tuning in for that is making love to multiple people, has no emotions, it's just sex, and they're doing it without any feeling. They can do it multiple times with multiple people and it doesn't matter to them. But yet you can't stay away from this person and you're stuck on this person, right? I'm never going to leave you. I'm never going to let you fall. And this part, I'm never going to make it without you. Do you really want to see me crawl? So it's kind of like this person is stuck on this either karmic or your soulmate, twin flame, whatever you want to call them. They can't break free. They're loving this person while this person is loving other people. Let's get this reading done. <laughs> Let's get this reading. I'm telling you, it's a rabbit hole. I know it. Spirit, fix it. All right, let's do it. Spirit, give me a message. The overall energy. <laughs> Forgiveness. Ugh. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Bottom of the deck. Relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. But apparently, either you or your person, flip the roles, as I said, are not doing that. You're in connections with karmics or... Your person's in connection with karmics and you know, they're making love out of nothing at all, baby. Over and over again. While you're waiting for this person, while you're hoping for this person to love you, you can't let them go, but they're loving other people and with, you know, just a hello. You had me at hello, let's go to bed. It's kind of like that type of thing. It's craziness. All right, let's see if spirit confirms or denies this. Relationships and forgiveness. Let's see. Spirit, can you give me some more messages on this? Making love out of nothing at all. Forgot it. 
Did I just fly out for a reason? Okay. Fire sign, which is Aries, Leo, and Sag. I can't let you go. Hello, confirmation. Baby mama, baby daddy. Watching in envy. Ooh, damn. Hold you in high honor. Any other? Hold you in high honor. See if that comes out again. The heck? Spoke the truth. Karmic. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. What can I tell you? Some people have love readings. I have this. It is what it is. All right, spirit. What more can you do this? But they hold you in high honor, and that's something that I didn't take out of the deck. And this is making their karmic watch you in envy. What do they get that I don't got? Well, uh, let's see. High honor? <laughs> honor at all? Making love at another at all? Um, yeah, you're cheating. You're being disloyal. Um, you screwing everybody in sight. You take your pick, kid. Take your pick. Let's see. All right. So, Spirit, give me some more information on the karmic connection. Yep. Karmic is controlling your person. Yeah, your person's overthinking this connection. They want you to contact them. Mm-hmm. So you're not with this person. They've chosen a karmic connection. But it's not... It's not the emotional connection that you had with this person. And that's why they chose the karmic. But now, they're in their feelings about it. Because the karmic is not loyal to them either. If they, th they thought that this person was going to be loyal to them. They're finding out the hard way that not so much. The karmic is just as manipulative as they were towards you trying to control you now they're being controlled by their sexual urges uh, yeah let's just end it because it's going into the rabbit hole and i knew it was going to forgiveness double confirmation of forgiveness we got that twice now so maybe they're looking for forgiveness let's get all the cards here let's go into it Go down the rabbit hole together, baby. <laughs> With two or more, we might just get out alive. Get away in the car. All right. Down for anything. Mm -hmm. Fire sign again, as I said. Can't let you go. I already told you that one. Baby mom, baby daddy. Waiting and watching in envy. They spoke the truth. They were the karmic. Empowered. Need I say more? Addictions. Mm -hmm. Wearing a mask. You're worth fighting for. Married or in a long-term commitment. Scared of being rejected. Contact me. Overthinking. Controlling. Your person is controlling too, but your karmic, the karmic is too. There is a lot in common with the karmic and that's why they chose this person because they had similarities in breeding, how they acted, their emotions closed off. Probably good looking. Yeah. Aesthetics is, is important to your person. So this person turned their head. And this person had similar temperament. So they thought that they were getting a person just like them. Control but the problem is just like them was toxic. So it's controlling, manipulative, game playing. And they all they got played by their own trap. They, they, the trap was snapped on them now instead of them doing it to somebody else. Yeah, control on both ends. But your person's overthinking. Overthinking about you. They want you to contact them. They're scared of being rejected by you, though. Yeah, scared of being rejected by you. 
And that's why they turn to other people in other situations, because they weren't sure about you. You were like the unknown door number four. Should I pick it 10, 10 on the clock? Not sure. They might be married or in a long-term commitment with somebody, or you might be. That you're worth fighting for in this person's eyes, where in the past they just gave up and let go. You could be with somebody else. They're wearing, they were wearing a false mask as to everything's a delicate, fantastic in this connection. They're not happy in this connection with this karmic. If they're projecting that, it's a lie. They have addictions. Both of them do. Both the karmic and them have addictions, obsessions. One of the obsessions is you, but it's more than that. It's either drug related or it's um, pills, alcohol, yeah, gambling, stuff like that. You are in a twin flame connection with this person. Empowered. You were empowered and you either walked away or you moved on with your life without this person because they went with a karmic or they were married to a comic, or they went with a comic after you. And you spoke the truth to this person. Maybe the last time you talked, 11-11, you spoke the truth to this person, and they didn't want to hear it. They weren't ready for it. They didn't want to hear it. They got very defensive to you about it. Maybe you even argued with this person. But their karmic is watching you in envy, and they are watching you as well. Their baby mama, baby daddy is watching you in envy. So they might have a child. They have a child with somebody else. They can't let you go. They, they've never let your energy go. You could be a fire sign or they could be a fire sign and they were down for anything and so is this karmic and this is the problem. The two together created a, it's sort of like, what is it called? A perfect storm. Yeah, perfect storm. Two toxic people converge and it's a perfect storm. It's, it's a perfect storm of absolute misery. They're not happy with each other. But you need to forgive this person for how they hurt you. And that's why forgiveness is being is on the table. It's forgiveness is here twice for a reason. Your person is asking for that as well. They want you to forgive them. Because they know that they screwed up with you. They screwed up bad. They know that they chose somebody completely out of their element. Somebody that they know damn well they shouldn't have went with. But somebody they were excited to try out. Somebody that had a reputation Somebody that their friends told them had a reputation. Somebody that they even some of their friends that were actually close to them, that were good to them, that were actually a nice, you know, not toxic posse. Somebody that actually cared about them told warned them not to go with this person, but because they recommended them in a negative way, they liked the idea of the excitement of having somebody like that, thinking that it was going to be awesome in bed, that it would be an experience for them, and so they went in that direction with this person, only to find out that it was absolutely a nightmare. But fun at first. I'm not going to lie. It was fun at first. It was exciting to this person. Because this person was down for anything and willing to do whatever it takes to satisfy them. 13, 13 on the clock. And with that said, an STD wasn't probably far behind. So, that was not what they intended to get when they went with this person. Nor would there be... Uh, were they expecting a pregnancy, even a long-term commitment with this person? They weren't expecting anything like that, but they got stuck. They got trapped. Yeah, spirit come through, man. They got trapped with this with this karmic. This, this person, this karmic was hell bent on getting this person, getting this person's money, getting this person's status, and they trapped your person. Not only did they trap them with a pregnancy, but they also trapped them with. A sexually transmitted disease. That's what I'm hearing here. All right, spirit, come on. Come through. All right, so this is six of cups. Cups is water energy. So Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Yeah, and they have bad memories, emotional hurts, childhood issues. This person has childhood issues. And then these childhood issues are creating a, a real problem with them as far as with them moving forward. They collected toxic ways through their raising that this was a normal behavior to show your manliness because i'm because i am channeling a man here and this is what men do we go with this one we go with that one we don't stay long we don't let them rule our lives but sexually your person is vulnerable to women 
or men, take it how it resonates, they might be doing both, where they have, they're very overly sexual. And they like that because your person's overly sexual. So it's a sticky web, 15, 15 on the clock, that gets them stuck every time. This is something they picked up when they were younger, this, this mindset. Queen of Wands in reverse. Wands is Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. They, The person that they're with is low confidence and is a jealous person, vengeful, malicious. A troublemaker, very unfaithful person. Very demanding, too. And it was okay, kind of cool and funny in a way, at first, because your person was controlled sexually by this person. And they liked that. They were jealous. Made them feel good inside, you know? But the demanding part of it, it wasn't just in the bedroom. It became outside of the bedroom and in every area of the life where they were controlled. And the demands just continued to get worse and worse. This person couldn't fulfill them those demands. Frankly, nobody can. This person's toxic. 16, 16 on the clock. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. And there's no real good... There's no real commitment here. Yeah. It, it's just really all over the place. They're, they don't put much into it. The karmic. Yeah, it's just all over the place. I don't know. And your person could be focused more on work than this because they're trying to bury themselves in work to just forget and act, have this mask on that everything's so fantastic at their house when it really sucks. Page of Cups uh, in reverse. There's an emotional immaturity about your person. They're jealous too. They could be very obsessed and selfish. Very childish at times as well. It just doesn't help. <laughs> The two of them together, it's just, it's a perfect storm, 17, 17 o'clock. Ace of Wands, they want a new beginning with you, though. They want to get out of this. They have a lot of passion for you. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's crazy. They went from the immaturity over here, the Page of Cups, to the King of Pentacles. So maybe they've grown since the last time they've seen you. They're trying to become more grounded and mature, financially secure more dependable and faithful or this could be another person that's coming in your energy yeah somebody that's more loyal wants to build an empire with you justice in reverse yeah false accusations unfairness dishonesty karmic divorce could be in there's a lot of accusations flying between the two of them a lot of dishonesty it's craziness they don't trust each other because they're both untrustworthy in a lot of ways Especially this comic that your person doesn't trust them and they know they can't trust them. There's an imbalance between the two of them. Thank you, Spirit. Well, Four of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, they're having an awakening though. And a healing is going to happen for your person. It's really, it's a mental collapse. They're going to go through the dark night of the soul with this person. This person is going to put them through hell. If they haven't already. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, there's a lot of overspending. If they were marrying, this karmic married them. They were a con artist who married him for money. Gold digger, basically. But they, they look at you as the high priestess. Very spiritually enlightened. They're watching you. You might have gone uh, through a transformation where you become spiritually woke. You might be more mature spiritually, mentally, even in age from this person. And they see that in you. They see this change in you or they see that you're just more than they thought you were you know i think they underestimated you and now they're realizing their mistake 1919 on the clock i got here we have the world in reverse yeah they're just stagnant they're they're repeating karmic cycles they don't have success in their life not what they could have had with you it's all emptiness and superficiality you know what looks good on the outside but on the inside it's filth it's garbage there's no meaning to it it's a means to an end is what the hell it is yeah they just feel incomplete without you five of swords in the reverse they want to move on and end this conflict between the two of you they want to communicate 
two of pentacles in the reverse. So much imbalance. They want to make a decision. They judged you poorly. They're overwhelmed in their situation. The moon in reverse. Yeah, secrets are going to be revealed. They only deceived themselves when they thought that they had better than you 2020 on the clock. The emperor. Now the emperor, dear God. But they are a father figure, so they could have children with this person. It's karmic. No nonsense. Authoritative. Controlling. Which is what they were with you. Control. They tried to control you. Make you stuck on them. While they worked this out with somebody else. And you didn't stay stuck. You moved on. The song is sad in so many ways. You loved this person. But this person went forward with doing all this fuckery, basically. And you were tired of it. You were tired of the nonsense. You stood by this person. You wanted success with this person. You couldn't let them go. And yet spirit was like, we're moving on of here. They divinely intervened and, and moved you out of that situation because it was ridiculous. 21, 21 on the clock. There was so much unfairness here. Unequal give and take. Six of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah. You got the short end of the stick. You got screwed. And you realized it. Spirit realized it. And they said no more. Four of pentacles in the reverse. Thanks, Spirit, for that. Thanks, Spirit, for that. So now they're trying to let go of the past. They're trying to let go of, of the situations, the people, the situations. And try to be generous with you. Three of swords in the reverse. You know, they want reconciliation with you. They want your forgiveness. This is what they're asking for. And this is what's in the cards. They want forgiveness from you. Because they know that they messed up. They know they did. Are there are any more cards here before we end it? And that is, I would say, it's totally up to you. However deep the rabbit hole went where they are asking for forgiveness, it might have been really bad. But in order for you to not stay stuck yourself in a karmic cycle, let this go. Let forgive. Only for your, not just for this person, but for yourself. It's very hurtful what happened here. You love them. And they disappointed you in such a cruel way in a way you know but in the end of it all at the end of the day they feel that regret and they will, as time goes by, spirit is not going to let them go. They're going to feel the effects of this 2323. Spirit is not going to allow them to forget you. And they haven't been able to forget you. And now look, obsession. You are their obsession. Look at this. They're looking at the divine masculine. This is your twin flame. Children could be affected in this situation. You know? You have a spiritual ascension. You are moving forward. Keep going, baby. Keep glowing. No matter how hard this hurts. And look what's going to happen in the end of this situation. This karmic is not going to get their way. There's a finality to this. Oh my goodness. Spirit. Through. Yeah. They want to negotiate with you. Yeah, they might have drastically cut you off to go towards this karmic. But there's meditation. Every day I get this one. <laughs> Remove the negativity in your arena. Yes. Look, they're being threatened. And they're being embarrassed by this karmic. Their life is not great. They're putting on a false mask. But the truth of the matter is, their life sucks. Their life sucks. Unconditional love. You showed them that. They want to show you that in kind. They want another chance with you. They do. They might be single, or you might be single. And maybe there's another person here altogether that's coming in your energy that's going to show you 
love and kindness and respect. Things that you deserve. Archangel Michael is protecting this connection. It's a twin flame though, you know? They're learning their karmic lessons like you had to learn yours. They took you out like the trash man. That's how you felt. Sorry. I really am. I understand. It's not easy. 25, 25 in the clock. It really isn't. It's difficult when you care about a person, you love a person, and... You can't make them love you back. Intervention, rescue, others involved. There could be people trying to talk to your person. Trying to reason with them about this karmic. Trying to enlighten them about what this karmic is doing behind their back. Ain't karmic. Can't make it up. Third party. Lessons are being, they're being taught by this karmic. They're crushed. They're crushed that they made the wrong decision. They're crushed that they don't have you in their life. There's a lot of regret that this person has. A lot of regret. But they were the drama queen. That's causing chaos. That's just demanding and vengeful and threatening this person. Ooh, yeah, yeah. You're not hearing from them at all. You're far removed from that. And you're better off being far removed from the situation. Let me see. Yeah, they feel like they're running out of time with you. That they feel your energy and you're moving forward. You're moving on without them. And maybe you found somebody else. This king of pentacles. Maybe you found another person that's going to show you love. And you're all set. You're all happy. Desire. They do desire you. But their desires, their lust, sent them down a, a rabbit hole. Sent them down a road that, I mean, I don't know if you even want this person back. Some of you don't. Some of you won't. But the, you chased them for a long time. And now they want to chase you. They're watching you, though. They haven't let go of your energy at all. They're connecting with you telepathically. In a sexual way, you must be feeling that energy. They're coming to the realization that there's nobody like you and that they're never going to find anybody like you that cared about them, that loved them as much as you did. They're realizing that now. That's a huge disappointment to this person. Huge disappointment. Huge kick in the head. That this person had everything they ever wanted embodied in one person. And they wanted to test the waters and see if there was anything better out there. Are you kidding me? Yeah, can't make it up. Telepathic messages, dreams, and songs are sending you. They're fully focused on you now. And in regret, they want your forgiveness. And that is up to you whether you do that or not. But Spirit's saying, in relationships, you're attracted to hire. You might be calling in a higher person, a soulmate. But forgive this person, if not for them, for the sake of them, but for yourself. This person made love out of absolutely nothing at all. And now that's all they have is that regret of what they did 28, 28 in the clock. Thank you so much for joining me. And Empress Aries 888, please like and subscribe and join my tribe. Until next time. Be safe out there, my friends. Be blessed.